shampoo and since you want to come here and go get stuff for you you're driving that's fine oh, okay buddy. <laughs> i'm sorry i had to say it with a little bit of attitude yeah, no. <laughs> you don't have to okay you don't you have to say baby. That, so. can you drive baby of course i can Thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Cause you're my favorite. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can we see Blake? Please? I don't give a fuck who said you're the least favorite. You my favorite. Period. <laughs> and that's on period. You know, bitter exes. You know, you know how that go. You know, Leslie went from the first love. My only ex, my first love. You know, he was leaving her essays on her live on her birthday. You know, everything was all good until she started to make videos with Chris. Now she's his least favorite ex. It's like, first of all, why are you still talking about Leslie? That's number one. Why are you still talking about this girl? You already messed it up for yourself when you reacted to their TikTok. You showed that you cared very much because if I don't care about an ex, that ex doesn't exist. I wish you the best. I'm not talking about you. I'm not looking at your stuff. I'm just happy in my own situation, so there's nothing to react to. You showed how pressed you were when you reacted to their TikTok. Now, Leslie and Chris hasn't said anything about Clarence at all. And he goes and makes a video. I haven't watched it, but... People were telling me like, you know, and then this video makes sense that he said that Leslie was his least favorite ex. And it's like, OK, I set up that question just to talk about Leslie. And it's like, y'all look, st you look stupid, Clarence, because you still got Leslie's name in your mouth and you got a whole baby mama at home, a.k.a. Wells Fargo. You got a whole baby mama at home with a baby and you really, really still saying Leslie name. And you really trying to play it off like you don't care. But the more you talk about her, the more you speak about her, the more you react to her, the more you make reference to her. It shows the world how pressed you are, how upset you are. And I even think I saw when they were asking, Maude asked, was asking um, him to sing Chris's song Chanel. And I'm like, y'all niggas obsessed. Y'all niggas obsessed with Chris and Leslie because it's like, first of all, how you know that nigga got a song called Chanel if you're not watching? And number two, what, how, how does, why are you still talking about Leslie? If anything, Queen should be very embarrassed because it's like, that's like me being in a relationship and I'm with somebody, they ex is doing whatever, doing good, making moves, whatever they're doing, and my man is commenting on what his ex is doing. Do you know how stupid that made me look? So his attempt to try to degrade her and make her, you know, seem, seem unimportant, you just made her more important because she should never be in your mouth, period. The way that you make an ex unimportant is by not speaking on her, period. When that TikTok came out, you should have looked at If it came up in your screen, you looked at it and you kept it moving because you were in a situation. But the thing is, is that when you're not happy in your current relationship, which he's not happy with Queen, when you're not really happy, when you're not really with the girl you want to be with, when you only claim a girl after she get pregnant by you, when you turn an F buddy into a girlfriend, when you take somebody that you think is Frank's Red, someone who's unattractive, and you make her your girlfriend because she's famous and got money, of course you're going to still be talking about your ex because you're not happy happy in your current situation clarence is not happy with queen because if he was happy with queen leslie wouldn't even be a topic of discussion what do i look like having a dude my ex is doing something i'm not talking about my ex you'll never hear me say anything about my ex you'll never hear me breathe use my breath to say anything about my ex because i'm happy but when you're not happy you dwell on the past you dwell on things like your ex you feel me and her delusional fans they don't understand that if you happy why are you responding to tiktoks these niggas didn't even talk in a tiktok all they did was bounce and move out the way and this nigga had a whole reaction video to one tiktok pressed you over here making videos mentioning your ex name. I know y'all went over them questions before it was they were asked. I know y'all went over them questions before y'all put the questions out, before y'all put the video out. So you knew what was being asked. So you purposefully, literally put Leslie name in there because you feel some type of way. You feel me? Like literally the nigga that you talk about all the time and you hate on all the time, which is Chris, got your bitch. Got the girl that you really, really liked and wanted to be with. See, Leslie... 
Clarence was actually attracted to her. He not attracted to Queen. Clarence was actually in love with Leslie. He, he don't love Queen. He love her lifestyle. So the fact that Chris bagged up Leslie, you know what I'm saying? And got Leslie out here cheesing and smiling and laughing. And Leslie saying she's never laughed so much in her life. Nigga, you was lame. You never made her laugh like that. Chris got your ex-girl and you pressed about it. That's why you still speaking on her. You feel me? And you trying to downgrade her by saying she's your least favorite. You only make yourself look more stupid. You feel me? You only make it when you damage control, you make yourself look stupid. You feel me? Because if she was your least favorite ex, you wouldn't be speaking on her, period. I don't speak on people I don't care about. If I, in my real life, I don't speak on niggas or females I don't care about. I don't do that because I've moved on. You have not moved on. You're salty. You feel me? You press. You like a pretzel. You're the ocean bed. You salty. Like you very much high blood pressure. Salty. Like salty. You feel me? And then it's like, Leslie, I'm so happy she's classy and is not responding to the BS because it's like, you're irrelevant. Like, they having a good time doing videos, you know, Leslie and Chris over there working, having a good time, and you over there, like, just hating, and you, you saying that girl name for what? Like, I mean, you, you're not talking about queen. You should be talking about queen. That's who you should be talking about. Why are you talking about Leslie? <laughs> Sorry. Look at the beautiful tree. Look at the beautiful Exactly. I don't give a F about who think you they least favorite. You my favorite. Period. Like exactly. Like get over it, Clarence. You'll never ever get your bitch back. Get over it. Okay. And people like, oh, you know, um, Clarence Clarence don't want Leslie. I can't tell because Leslie's always in his larynx. Leslie's always in his esophagus. He's always talking about her. And then on top of that, um, you remember Leslie and Clarence, they were they were together and Queen knew that, okay? And basically Clarence made a decision to go chase money over love. You know, people who love money, they'll sacrifice anything for money. So he basically let Leslie go to go be with a girl that he's not even attracted to for her money and her lifestyle. You feel me? That's why he left and went and, and left Leslie and went to Queen. Why? Because Queen has the money and the lifestyle. He was trying to get out the basement, you know? And since then, he's got his mom's house renovated. He's gotten G-Wagons and Corvettes and, ben uh, and Benzes. He's gotten, you know, access to celebrities. He's been around celebrities. He's been on game shows. Um, he's been on everything. He sacrificed a relationship for the lifestyle he has now. You feel me? Queen was nothing to him. Queen, he wasn't even claiming her. She was a fuck buddy. Literally. They were just friends. This this nigga had her in a friend shirt. Leslie had to, had, ain't had to wear no friend shirt. He claimed Leslie. He claimed her. He said that was his first love, first ex. They were together for six years, lived in the basement, all that. He claimed her. He never claimed Queen Longhead ass. He never claimed her. She was a fuck buddy. And then she trapped him. And when she got pregnant, that's when he decided to claim her. You feel me? If you got to trap a nigga, your pussy whack because you, you had a baby for a nigga to care about you. You feel me? That's lame. You feel me? You should be able to get a nigga to claim you and love you without anything like Leslie did. You feel me? So at the end of the day, 2021, he's still talking about his ex. You need to sit in the closet that he sent you to the climax. You need to sit in the in the closet and think about your life. Why is my nigga still talking about his ex? You feel me? And about the climax situation that I was basically hearing, if a nigga's attracted to you, he's going to make sure you go more than once. And he's going to make sure he finish you off and then get his. If he's not attracted to you, he don't care about your nut. He's going to send you to the closet. You're going to sit in the dark and do it yourself. Okay. Cause he's disgusted by you. He don't want to touch you. He don't want to, after he get his nut, you know, niggas fuck ugly girls all the time. After they get their nut, they done with you. They don't care about your nut. That's why she got to go sit in a dim closet to, to, to touch herself, to get shit done. 
period. And if you got a high sex drive, he's going to make sure he fulfills that and takes care of you and you'll be sleep and you'll be happy. No, but she got to go and live in a closet. Like, come on now. Like y'all niggas is delusional if y'all think that this nigga Clarence is not suffering inside, inside of his esophagus over the fact that Chris got Leslie. Like, Chris checkmated his ass, okay? You got the girl that I let go that I don't want because Chris don't want Queen, but I got the girl that you actually wanted. Chris won, period. <laughs> so, like, keep Leslie name out your mouth, Claire Bear. Click, keep Leslie name out your mouth. Stop talking about her. You look stupid. You you making Queen look stupid. You feel me? And I'm happy that Leslie was able to not respond to that and is classy about it. Because she know he pressed. You feel me? You ain't got a rock designer. You get it from your mama. Chris know. And Clarence know too. That's why he over there talking shit. Looking like Moses and shit. Looking like a skeleton all skinny and shit from stress. Drink and on an IV from alcoholism because he's drinking his pain away now they gotta flush all the alcohol away and hydrate his little dumb ass so anywho you know keep leslie name out your mouth talk about the bitch that you currently used in and call it a day period stop hating on them folk you feel me like you know what i'm saying and my the god needs to focus on paying his bills like did he didn't he get arrested like, wasn't he, uh, like, almost evicted or something like that? Like, instead of asking questions, he needs to ask for a job. He needs to ask for radio play. Like, he needs to ask for a career booster. He needs to ask for a manager that takes him serious. They all need to worry about themselves. Clarence needs to ask for a sewing machine so he can start working and start doing some work because I still don't know to this day what he do in 2021, and we going into 2022, and that's embarrassing, Okay. But anywho, Chanel, I love that song, period. And, you know, yeah, like, keep that girl name out your mouth. If you over her, if you don't care about her, stop talking about her, period. You you mad? <laughs> you so mad. You so upset. 